gay men can't in Indonesia under Sharia law. Authorities in Indonesia, Aceh province, publicly caned two gay men, a total of 77 times each, with rattan sticks. In Aceh's uh, Tamansari city park, dozens of citizens witnessed the cruel enforcement of Sharia law. Human rights activists chided Indonesia's authorities for the sadistic showcase. The homosexual men were caned in public after vigilantes detained them. Aged 27 and 29, the two men were arrested in November after, crowd, uh, after a crowd of residents invaded their rented room, where they were purportedly discovered having a sexual encounter. Originally, the men were sentenced to 80 strokes by a Sharia court weeks ago, but instead the court flogged the men 77 times since they had already served some prison time. Four other people suffered 17 lashes for extramarital sex and 40 lashes for consuming alcohol. Wow, oh, this is crazy. It's it's always Aceh, isn't it? Yeah. Aceh, that's, that's the province in Indonesia that is the most religious and has the most Sharia. Yeah, so my understanding is that um, it's not every province in Indonesia that's like this. This is fairly specific to Acha because of um, like an agreement um, when there was a bit of an insurgency. Um, wait, okay. Since Sharia law took effect in October 2015, when the government conceded to end deep -rooted, a deep, deeply rooted separatist insurgents, Indonesia citizens witnessed the third caning for homosexuality, which is this caning. Sharia law is practiced only in Atra province. Yeah, but Indonesia needs to be held responsible for that, even though it's not all of Indonesia. Oh, of course. Like, one law for all, let's be clear. Um, it's really You know barbaric. what bothers me about this, too, is that it's almost like rewarding this vigilanteism, you know? So these yeah. people took it upon themselves to break into these guys' room in a private room that they were behind, you know, and then the police, instead of, you know, prosecuting the people that, the mob that broke into their room, no. These guys are the ones who are being prosecuted. And it's like that, you know, it, it that's what I really dislike about a lot of this is that it, it encourages everyone to be a vigilante. You know, all you have to do is call it out and then, you know, people's lives are in danger. Yeah, and uh, it, it rewards that behavior because it validates it when they actually do <laughs> demonstrate corporal punishment against people for things that they were doing in private. Bish has an interesting comment, which is uh, true. Uh, seems like uh, he, he or she is saying, seems like Aceh province is the sh uh, Sharia Uttar, Uttar Pradesh of in Indonesia. Yeah, so Uttar Pradesh in India is like Aceh and um, in Indonesia. They have a very, yeah, true, 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 true. And both Indonesia and India are getting more and more religious. So that's also mm -hmm. something to, I mean, the government at least, not the people. Um, Indonesia did recently ban the um, Islamic Defenders Front, though, which is a yeah, that hardliner was good. party. So that's really good. That was a good move, yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with this as well. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not, where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free, it's not even promotion, it's free. Okay, so if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of why there's no god ah come on like i'm handing it out for free okay it's a bestseller on amazon and you get it for free so subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of why there's no god sent to you link in the description